hi guys i'm gonna film a dry shampoo tutorial which is crazy to me because it's so simple i don't really do anything special um but so many people requested it i guess if you haven't used it before then there's really nowhere else that you can see how to use it it kind of instructs you but you don't know um so yeah this is how i use it i will just mention first of all i am filming on my iphone so i don't know what quality is going to be like um i don't know what the quality is going to be like but um, the reason for that is that my camera batteries are in Milo's sound machine, which you might be able to hear from his bedroom. It's quite loud. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm filming on this. So I don't know if the quality's going to be any good. I may not end up even putting this up. Okay, so this is my favourite one. It's the Petite Tropical because it smells so good and you smell coconut all day long. Um, I probably use it from about that length away. And then I lift up my hair to get it kind of in different sections so I want to get it all over um, and then I generally leave it as you can see it's all like white at the moment I've actually got a little bit more at the front I generally leave it <laughs> I look like Oh, something from the, the monsters. Uh, generally leave it for say two or three minutes to sink in. So I will come back to you in two or three minutes. Okay, so um, it soaked in a little bit. I find that when I used to um, spray it and then move it, mush it in straight away, that the powder kind of dispersed through my hair and you could kind of see it, a residue throughout it, throughout the day. Um, whereas if I do it like this, then it kind of soaks up all the oil before I move it around. Um, because that is the purpose of it. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it to work for a few minutes first of all, maybe whilst I was doing makeup or whatever else normally. Um, so now I basically just zhuzh it into my scalp and rub it all in. Mm. <clears throat> Dry shampoo is a great thing if you're going to do like a braid or you're going to do kind of like an updo or something where you need your hair to be a little bit more manageable because when it's just been washed it's generally a little bit too clean, a little bit too shiny, and you can't do a lot with it. Whereas a little bit of dry shampoo, I think, makes it easier to work with. So yeah, that's pretty much how I use dry shampoo. And this is my um, kind of hair after I've just left it to dry naturally. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Um, because I'm trying not to use as many heat styling products and I'm not trying to wash it as often and things like that to try and give it a fighting chance at getting more healthy. Um, so dry shampoo is a perfect thing for that because if I get it into a style that I quite like um, from it drying naturally or from however, then dry shampoo just prolongs that without me having to wash and style it again. Um, but... That is generally how I would wear my kind of undone dry shampoo hair. Ta -da. So I hope that was helpful. I'm sorry if it was like, I don't know, being a bit stupid for some people if you kind of already knew how to do that. But lots and lots and lots of people requested it. Ages ago I said, yes, I will do it, I'll do it. Um, and then I just never got around to it. So I thought I'm going to do a few hair tutorials because lots of people have requested that I tell them how to do the braid thing that I did in my, what was it, products I regret buying video. Um, so I'm going to show you that probably tomorrow because I was going to do it today and then I realised my hair actually wasn't that bad. I thought it was kind of less, um, I thought it was a bit more flat than it was but I think I've got another day's wear out of it being um, wavy. Um, so yes, I'll probably show you that in the next hair tutorial. Um, if you've got any other requests, please let me know. I'm not fantastic with curling tongs but I'm trying to get better because I'd really like to curl my hair for the wedding so um, if you've got any requests at all then let me know and I will try and do them but the reason I don't do hair tutorials is because generally I'm not very good um, but you know we all need practice at things so I'll give them a whirl. Um, thanks for watching if you haven't already please subscribe and check out my other links below. Mm -hmm.